Thomas, let's clear up the air. Let's talk about the elephant in the room because we already know this is going to be clickbait. Um, you were not physically at Mental All. Do you mind sharing with us why you weren't there? Yes, yeah, please absolutely. share this, Thomas. It was something I, I wholeheartedly wanted to be there. And unfortunately, with last second scheduling and having to go there, spend a couple days in Los Angeles and really be pulled away from the things I had here going on at home in my life and with my businesses, I couldn't physically be there. However, I'm so thankful I had a chance to actually call in and at least have that dialogue with Katie. So that's something that I've been wanting to have since we finished filming in New Mexico. So although it wasn't perfect um, in life, we have to adapt. And I'm just fortunate and thankful I got to actually spend that time. Okay. You know, I'm not going to lie, Thomas, you dodged a bullet. Your yeah. name was probably said about, I don't know if I had a count, close to 50 times that evening. And um, it would have been an interesting conversation having you there, but I'm glad uh, you were able to at least come in video chat wise. It was good. Yeah. And as far oh. as dodging a bullet, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, I get it. I was a topic of conversation a lot on the season. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the main things I wanted to apologize to Katie about because there was so much dialogue about me. Like, it's like, come on, guys, like focus on her. This is her journey. This is your relationships. I don't care how you feel about me. You shouldn't care how you feel about me. Just go and pursue the girl. I mean, the yeah. reason why we were all there was for Katie. So I was a little taken aback that I was brought up so much as well. But I mean, at the end of the day, Katie looks happy. Um, she seems to be happy and it worked out for her. So I'm, I'm yeah. glad to hear that for her. Do you feel like um, you owe the guys on the show anything? I don't know the guys there or anything. And okay. I don't think any person going in as an actual cast member owes the other guys really much because we're not there to necessarily make friends. That's an amazing byproduct of that experience. We mm -hmm. are there to see if we can find love. And I think that's one of the things that I went in with a mindset of and it ended up turning into something that it wasn't. Because if, if you look, it was very apparent. I was almost on the outside looking in when it came to the romance between the men and I was so purely focused in on Katie and that set in motion a lot of things that ended up transpiring in a way that I wouldn't want one of them not necessarily being close to the guys in the house which allowed a lot of that to circulate which is entirely on me and then two having that isolated mindset it really put me in a position where my own personal feelings feeling like I was just there for her and on the outside escalated what I was going through internally more so than it would have in a normal situation. And that's something where in hindsight, I wish it could have been different. However, that's how I approach it. I was honest to myself and I can't change any of that now. With all that being said, do you have any regrets about your time on the show? My, my one regret is exactly what I shared with Katie at the mental health. It was the fact mm -hmm. that I put her in a position where I spoke any sort of doubt in who she was, who she is, and what she has to do being there. And yeah. I strongly believe that Katie's time being Bachelorette is in the midst of the most volatile era of any Bachelorette this grant has seen. And she was going in, I know that's a bold statement, but I'm going to stand by it. because I know, I was just going to say, that, looking, that's a lot. What does that mean? Yeah, no, no offense to yeah. you, Tasha. Yeah, I know you had to do something similar. <laughs> as far as like the bubble environment and coming straight off of COVID and trying to really navigate your way. But when you have that and you add in the fact that this is the first time we've been fortunate enough to have people like you and Caitlin be hosts. And it's the first time of really trying to find a new identity, both with Katie as the bachelorette and the franchise moving forward. I think she handled herself tremendously in the best that she could. And the fact that I spoke any sort of doubt in that, that's something that was completely unfair and something that I do regret because that's mm. not a place where we could have any room for that. And that's what I really wanted to share with Katie. And that's why I'm glad I got to talk to her at the mental hall. Hmm. I'm looking at Joe's face. Uh -oh. What? What you got for me, Joe? Joe's no, I just, please. I don't, Joe's I don't share. I, I don't necessarily agree with um, her coming in at the roughest time. And I think that's okay that that's the way you think. I just don't really agree with that. But I understand where you're coming from. Um, I guess, okay, so I do want to talk, we'll just brush over this real quick um, mm -hmm. because everyone's talked about it a million times, but I do want to just go real quick with it. You saying that I um, 
of course, considered being the bachelor is pretty much what you said, right? Yep. It was, Do you it was regret? Somebody, and that was that was what the guys clinged on to. It seems mm-hmm. like that's what villainized you. Um, I personally think you were just being honest. Um, I don't have an issue with it. Uh, but is that something that you regret? No, because if they ask me a direct question, is the thought of being the bachelor anything that crossed your mind? Like, I'm not going to lie to them, and I'm damn sure not going to lie to myself. Because okay. at the end of the day, when people are on that show, they need to live with their truth. And for me, I was living in my truth. And that's all we can do as people. And it was an honest fact. Yes, at some point in my life, I thought there was a possibility being on a show like this, you could become The Bachelor. And I also thought you can fall in love. What I didn't think is you could become the villain, which was my, <laughs> yeah. which was my biggest mistake. Gotcha. 